Hello and welcome my beautiful Sagittarius viewers. I'm Katie, I am a professional intuitive tarot card reader. If you have any personal questions that you need answered, then please visit my website katietarot.com and you can book your reading with me there. This reading Sagittarius is from the 4th through to the 10th of December 2017. And it is for Sun, Moon and Rising Sign, Sagittarius. And it is a general reading, so remember always to take what resonates from the reading and leave what doesn't resonate, because it is a general reading only. For more personal, um, for, qu for questions of a personal nature that are specific to you, then you will need a private reading. Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius. Mondays and Tuesdays energies. We have the Four of Wands. This is a lovely, beautiful energy coming in there. We have the Seven of Wands. We've got two Wands. And the Eight of Pentacles. And the King of Swords. So we have well thought out communication between you and another person or in a group situation that's going to go in your favor okay even though it seems like you know people might be against you in some kind of way or do you feel that the ties that you have to people uh, particularly in your workplace family and friends um you feel that that could be your relationship could be challenged in some way with these with these people. I do feel that you will come out on top and the relationship will go back to its usual self and uh, that you will be able to look for areas. Okay. With the King of Swords, look for areas that you can improve communication and cooperation uh, within this group situation or with this person in your life. And like I said, I feel that you will go back to the usual relationship dynamics. If this is what you want, if it's a healthy relationship dynamic, which I feel for the most part that it is, uh, then um, a disagreement or, um, or a you know, not being cooperative together uh, for a couple of days is no big deal in the long term. That's how I'm seeing this because you are going to stay calm. And I do feel that uh, you're going to work through things in a very, um, in a very practical, positive um, way. So you're going to be very, I do feel you're going to be very grounded in this. Okay, we have the Emperor, so there could be an Aries that is in the picture here. Uh, we also have the Three of Pentacles. See, this is what I was talking about, Sagittarius. You're going to feel like you are in control and able to work things out and build a relationship forward with the Three of Pentacles. You know, you're building up your relationship still. So I don't feel it's going to come to any kind of end. I'm not seeing a drastic shift here in energies. I'm just seeing um, influences that are going to come in energetic wise just throughout the week and the dynamics of the relationships that you have with people. And we have the two of swords and the knight of swords. So there is some kinds of action that you would like to pursue going forward, Sagittarius. And it does look like communication is key here. We do have a lot of swords energy here. Um, and I do feel this is coming, you know, this is midweek energy. So we are looking at Wednesdays and Thursdays energies now. Um, I don't feel that any kind of setback that you may have experienced recently or even... Uh, Monday or Tuesday, if you consider this a setback, whatever this was for you, I don't feel it's going to get you down. I don't feel it's going to dampen your fire because we have you really looking forward to the time when uh, you're going to be communicating just as well as you did previously with this person um, or having the opportunity to speak your mind to someone, which is really great. 
I don't feel that you're going to be caught up in negative energy this week, Sagittarius. I do feel that you will be quite confident. Okay. Um, there is an element here coming in later on in Thursday where you might have the tendency, you might have some knowledge of some kind, and there might be a tendency here for you, Sag, to talk about another person. Um, and, you know, once you put that out there to another person, maybe it was a secret or something that you shouldn't, it was something of a personal nature. I do feel that you have this information and you might be tempted to communicate this to another person and you actually shouldn't. It's not in your best interest to do this. So just uh, be aware of that as well. Let's have a look at the weekend energies. We have the six of wands. You're feeling like you're back on your horse. You're feeling like things are going well. You have support around you. We've got the four of cups. And we have the seven of cups. And we have the justice. Okay, so there might be a Libra that is in on a situation here that you are dealing with. Um, I do feel by the weekend that things are going to start to smooth themselves out. And not that this energy this week is actually quite positive for you, Sagittarius. I do feel your fire energy coming in, that passion, that excitement. There is something that may be going on that it has that kind of energy to it. Um, so I do feel overall, this energy is very empowering and very, um, you know, you're very enthusiastic about something, progressing forward with something. Um, and people around you are supporting you by the end of the weekend and you are really feeling that. And, you know, you can just about accomplish anything that you want this week because we've got the six of wands here. And this does denote success and you're going to have that opportunity to be successful in whatever it is you want to be successful in this week, Sagittarius. So that's really awesome. That's really great. Um, I do feel coming into the weekend, you are going to feel right in your element. You're going to feel very empowered and very sure of yourself and confident walking into the weekend and walking through the next few weeks in this area of your life, whatever that is, or just in general. A general air about you is going to be very confident. Um, I do feel that you may be looking at some kind of travel or some kind of movement in the near future. And I also feel that someone in particular could be a Libra. You know, with the Four of Cups here and the Justice, it does look like someone may make some a deal with you or make some promises that they're not going to be able to fulfill okay with the seven of cups there as well so if anybody this week makes a commitment to you or a promise to you to do something meet up or an arrangement of some kind just be a little bit wary because what i'm seeing here energy wise is that um they may have good intentions, um, but are they going to be able to deliver that to you? Well, you're just going to have to see. So just be a bit aware, just be aware of that. Okay, just be aware of that. There's also an energy here of, um, of change and being able to embrace that with balance and harmony. So you may be moving towards some a goal or moving towards um, a relationship. I don't feel that you have to force anything this week. I don't feel that you're going to um, be able to um, make any hasty decisions. I just don't feel that's going to happen this week. I feel you are very much empowered and confident about whatever you're going to be doing. And it's really going to be um, you driving your own life so very much very much empowered it's a wonderful wonderful energy um, so that is the energy of the week coming through Sagittarius if you do like the content please subscribe to my channel if you have not already 
and I will talk to you again shortly.